college baseball programs with illustrious histories and traditions meet in Houston. The LSU Tigers and the Texas Longhorns renew their regional rivalry on the big stage at Minute Maid Park. From downtown Houston, Texas, Minute Maid Park, it is the Shriners Hospitals for Children College Classic. Day one concludes with a big time matchup between the Big 12 and the SEC, the Texas Longhorns and the Tigers from LSU. Swept in Austin. And we're underway and there's a liner in the right of base hit by Austin Todd. Wave and a miss, throw down to second base, is on line, and in time. Strike them out, throw them out, double play. What a throw by Malazzo, the catcher. Oh, check out this freshman with a gun behind the dish for the time. Down and away. Off the edge of the plate, chopped towards Faltini. The one man on the left side of the diamond makes the play. Bryce Elder has a perfect bottom of the... Boy, defensively very polished. And a wave and a miss as Cam Williams goes down on strikes. That's three straight strikeouts from Cole Hill. It's harder than it needs <laughs> right. to be. <laughs> Certainly for Texas last season, but well, right now, Cole Henry's making it really hard sure is. on this lineup. And he just did it. Pat, what a beginning for Cole Henry and LSU. Yeah, just electric stuff. And again, the Longhorns get to make the... And then as you can imagine, the next one is... Hitting the center field for a base hit. That's a good start for Cabrera. Maybe a man in need of a few hits to crank up his 20. High expectations all around. Well, that ball is clogged. Deep left center field. Yeah, that's off the fence. Cabrera spreading around third. He will score, and Garza in with the triple. And the Tigers strike first. Well, just a simple case of Bryce Elder falling behind after Daniel Cabrera had clubbed the single, and he gives into a fastball here, middle in, and Garza just unloads on it. Well, that ball was in the air a long, long time before it hit the Vaca sign in left center and propelled away from Ellis. Yeah, Ellis had no shot but to play it off that screened bullpen area. That's actually the Texas bullpen and going to concede a run for an out. Then again, if you get a strikeout, that's a big first step to getting out of the inning. That's a and he will wave and miss. So that's back to back strikeouts by Elder following the single on the trip. Produce another run. Chopper up the middle. Faltini's going to have to come and get it. Gloves and throws. What a play at first. Oh, oh man. There's some glove work. How about that, Trey Faltini at short? Take another look, and uh, Pat, put your umpire gear on and tell <laughs> right. me what you think. I thought he was out with the naked eye, but we're going to get a better look here. Yeah, I think Jason Millsap, the first base umpire, made a good call, and it was a bang-bang play for sure, and I think it's worth the challenge if you're Paul Maneri. It absolutely will result in a run if uh, he's ruled safe. But uh, I think it, uh, it will turn out to go in the Longhorns' favor. Oh, they're going to call him safe. My goodness. Wow. Bryce Elder has continued to throw in the meantime, so the inning is not over. And Pat, wow, that produces a run. Sure does. What a, what a challenge. What a great challenge there by Benarian. Help me right here, though, Pat. This ball is in the glove. That foot is not on the base. I, I can't see it, but... Uh... And there's a wave and a miss to win the second inning. After all that, we'll step out, come back for the third at Minute Maid Park in Houston. Everything else has happened with music in my life so far. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That ball hit deep to left field. It's got a chance to go off the bat of Patrinsky, and that's a home run. Wow. <laughs> Up off the bricks, a solo shot from D.J. Petritsky, his first of the year. Well, what a great story for Petritsky. He was out most of last season. Had a really tough shoulder injury. 
And he is back in this Longhorn lineup and does some damage to Cole Henry. Trying to go fastball up in the zone, just doesn't get it above his hands. And that 95 mile an hour fastball got out of here pretty quick, didn't it, Brett? Well, it sure did. Carried, watch where this one lands, up above the signs before landing on the field of play. And slumped world burn. And it was incredible to me because I realized for the first time. Oh. Face it in the center by Todd. He's two for two, so the Longhorns keep it going in this third inning. Big pitch right here. And he works the walk. Duke Ellis just looks so calm. You see the smile on the Zach Zubia. Payoff pitch. In the air to center. De Giacomo circling underneath it. He'll make the catch. The throw will go to third. The run will score in the sack fly. And we're tied at two. Both teams got something to applaud in that sequence, but it's a brand new game. Yeah, you know, Zubia did, did his job there. You want to get a ball, you can lift to the outfield. At least get your pitcher. So no longer the numbers. The ones, the twos, and the threes. That's strike three at the getting end. Mm -hmm. So that was a fun frame and catchy. I'm good, man. We thank you for stopping by. Only competition on the field, but off. Keep it rolling. Oh, I hit it. That one didn't feel so good to fall. Teeny made the nice play to end the bottom of the third inning, but he will wear one and reach to begin the fourth against Cole Henry. And protect the hands because I don't know if there's anything more important. Kennedy drops down the bunt. Mathis with the play. And he threw it down the right field line. And the Longhorns have him set up at second and third and nobody out. Wow, how about that bunt by Eric Kennedy? Again, flashing that speed down the line. Zach Mathis made a good pickup, but he rushed the throw trying to get the speedy Kennedy in. All right, Brett, there's really, I don't think if he makes a perfect throw, he's going to be out. Instead, that ball gets thrown up the right field line. So, Longhorn's ready to do more damage here in the fourth. That's your second baseman, Doe. In the air to right, Cabrera will have a play. Faltini tags. He's going to score. The throw is late at third base. And the Longhorns have regained the lead. It's 3-2, to two, Texas. Well, DJ Petrinsky with his second RBI of the night. It's a fastball out over the plate. This time goes with the pitch. Produces the sack fly out to Daniel Cabrera. Petrinsky has wasted no time. He's seen two pitches, two RBI, Not right? right? <laughs> Not that for an aggressive swing. If you find something you like against a good pitcher, be ready to hack. See if this one stays in play. It should. Beloso there. The left-handed first baseman puts it away. Longhorns get a run back. A wave and miss here. Down on strikes. These clubs have a number of great leadership guys. Guys have been in the program for two to three years. And then you've got the, this great blend of friends. Well established already. Strike three. Bryce Elder just struck out the side in the fourth inning. And the Longhorns remain up one over this breaking ball. So it's, it's a sharp breaking ball, and LSU has not been able to see the ball well. And and Zubia couldn't make the play. Dixon couldn't make the play. And DiGiacomo is aboard. That was the magic ground ball going through a couple of Longhorns. Yeah, kind of a tweener ground ball. And Zubia. Singled and scored in the second. Struck out his last time in. Rips one to right. This ball starting to carry. That ball is gone. And in one swing, the Tigers have taken the lead. And the emotion of college baseball after a big swing. From a big hitter in Daniel Cabrera. Yeah, no doubt Cabrera singing the ball well tonight. Had the single back in the second inning. And this time gets a fastball delivery up in the zone from Elder. He just puts the barrel on it. Drives the ball out. That ball got out quick, Brett. Boy, it did. And watch how far it hit up there, Pat. It wasn't a fence scraper. That was about eight or nine rows up into the seats.
and a rip and a miss. And the inning ends, but the Tigers regain the lead. Two runs on one big swing from Daniel Cabrera. A laser beam to the stands and right, changing the game. And a rip and a miss. Yeah, nasty slider. 84 mile an hour slider and Hodos had a good command of the zone. He's walked 10 times this year. He was just about carved up on three pitches. And again, able to lay off. No, he did not. A late appeal. And this time, Jason Millsap rings up Hodo. Back to back strikeouts. Probably a very similar swing as we saw the pitch before. Seems to go around this time. Yeah, pretty close. Two half swings is one full swing. <laughs> that's a swing. Yeah, that's a swing. That's definitely a swing. I think it got both. <laughs> <laughs> thing is, uh, yeah, a strikeout. How about Jaden Hill? It just struck out the side pack. In between you getting smoked, that's three straight Ks. <laughs> what a way to end the inning, right? And yeah, we all need a break. Stretch time. You know, put my scorecard together down here, and <laughs> Doty hits one. Back to the mound, and Elder never could come up with it. He tried. Bare hand, glove hand. Tigers looking for some insurance. Might have it here. Spray to left. Kennedy comes up with a baseball. A late stop sign and a good one. Kennedy got to that ball and left before Doty touched third. And there is not a big league ballpark in the country where it's more difficult to score a runner from second. On if you're trying to avoid giving up the run. And a wave and a miss. Just carving up to Giacomo. Runner goes. Beloso swinging 3 0. Lifts one to left. Kennedy will make the catch, and the Tigers strand two in their pursuit of systems they can use. Duke Ellis draws the walks of the tag run on. Off and running with the pitch is Ellis. No chance whatsoever for the great catcher, Nalanza, with that arm to even be able to. Rip and a miss. It's a big second out. That's five strikeouts and two strong innings from Jaden Hill. Yeah, just nasty stuff. And Jaden Hill comes in, does a tremendous job. Soft pop up behind the play. Petrinsky handles it easily in the inning end. So the Tigers get a couple of base hits. They do not score. Longhorns come to bat of the night. One walk and struck out five. Although Faltini sends one to deep left center, and it will be tracked. No! Did Giacomo make the catch? He did. He it did. looked like he let that ball go, but he made the play. Well, he went long. Win over Boise State. Waves and misses here. Two outs. Ninth inning. Strikeout number six. For Jaden Hill. Longhorns down to their final out of the ninth. High in the air, playable right to Cabrera. Drifting near the line. Ball game over. LSU wins it four to three. Well, they stick the first loss on the Longhorns this season. And the uh, SEC comes back to win one here salvaged a game and tomorrow night for our nightcap you'll have an LSU team or a, an Arkansas team and a Texas squad that both lost today looking to get back on track in our prime time game